Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Tank Mechanic Simulator, where we have ourselves an Easy 8 Sherman ready to go. If you want to see how I found this and dug it out of the mud and brought her here on a truck, make sure you keep watching to see exactly how we got her here and more about this wonderful game. Again, it is available in a demo, which the developers sent me. So we're going to take a look here at what's new. I've customized my workshop as well by painting all these uh, support girders, putting posters on the wall, and doing custom floor and roofing. It's pretty cool. So if you want to see more, make Make sure you click or tap that like button. Let's get out into the field and see how we claim this giant beast. Then we're going to come back here and get to work on cleaning it up, restoring it, and possibly selling it. Somewhere out there is a hidden tank, and I'm going to find it. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to Tank Mechanic Simulator, where today we're going to extract a tank from World War II, hidden somewhere under the ground. We've got to find it with our metal detector, dig it up, and bring it back to our workshop. So let's get rolling then. We've got ourselves a lovely little army jeep, and we're going to pull up here. There should be some yellow flags on the left side of the road, and we're going to stop there and then uh, get out our trusty metal detector and see if we can find this thing. All right, perfect. There is the uh, lovely little uh, flag. So let's see if we can grab ourselves a metal detector and go looking for this thing. So metal detector allows you to detect metal objects hindered under the ground, etc., etc. So as we get closer to the tank, we'll be able to find it. So let's listen and uh, see if we can find this thing. Okay. All we got to do is just kind of walk around a little bit. I don't know what tank it could be. It could be a Sherman, a KV-1, or a Tiger tank. So we just need to somehow come close to it. We can also look for uh, clues hidden uh, poking up out of the ground, such as this right here. That might be a dead giveaway. I think we found it. All right, use the shovel or call ex excavations using the laptop. All right, let me go grab the shovel real quick and see what we may have found. Oh, man, it could be anything. Let's see. There's our trusty shovel. All right, shovel allows us to dig and identify what the tank is. Perfect. I think we found ourselves a tiger tank, but I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and take a look now with our lovely little uh, shovel, and let's start digging. Oh, ho, ho, it's a KV-1. Look at that, boys. We found ourselves a KV-1. All right, there we go. All right, well, we got to spend all day on digging this thing. Let's see, is it a KV-1 or is it a Sherman? Wait a minute. Maybe it's not. Yeah, it's a KV-1 for sure. With that turret, absolutely. Cool. All right, let's call excavations with the laptop then. We know what we found. All right, let's head back to the truck. There's one more uh, piece of equipment that we haven't used yet. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves the tablet in order to call for reinforcements. So let's use our tablet and uh, let's start digging right here. Uh, let's see, the reason you <laughs> it's not suitable because there's obstacles in the area. Oh, I shouldn't have left my tools. All right, let's go grab those. All right, I moved the shovels. On the second look, it looks like it might be a Sherman. It shows a little tank here that is looking like a Sherman, but I, I actually don't know at this point. So let's dig this boy up and see what we got here. Oh, I can hear the trucks. Oh, wow, look at this. Excavation results. We found something. We ran into a, a water source. Pump it out. Oh, Okay, I guess we got to... Oh, wow, look at all the equipment. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, wow. Like, no joke, they've actually dug this thing out. Oh, wow, it is a Sherman. Look at that. I thought it was a KV-1. We found ourselves an Easy 8 That is awesome. Okay, let's see. How do we pump out the water? Oh, here we go. Let's turn on the pump. Use pressure washer. Oh, there we go. Well, actually, the side of this does look like a KV-1, but the front is mis no mistaking that it is a Sherman. Wow. All right. Water's being pumped out. Look at that. That is awesome. All right. Let's find ourselves a pressure washer. Power generator there. Uh, use pressure washer. We need to get that clean state up. Look at it go. Oh, that is so cool. All right. Wow. She's been buried underneath the water and the soil for a long, long time. Okay. Let's see if we can find ourselves a pressure washer. This might contain it over here. Okay. Looks like we found ourselves a some sort of a... Is that part of the pressure washer there? Pressure washer allows players to clean the tank and mud. Okay, perfect. Well, let's get her done. Oh, yeah, baby. You're coming home. Clean that hull off. That lovely barrel. There we go. Oh, yeah, everything's got to be cleaned off. Let them have it, boys. Give them both barrels. That's right. Wow, it is, like, hard to see this tank because of the sun. We spent all day digging it out. All right. Let's get this thing cleaned up and bring it back to the shop. 
All right, she's cleaned up as good as we can. Let's get her onto a truck and see if we can bring her out of here. Uh, let's see if we can uh, get inside here. There we go. Ooh, look at that. We can actually get inside the tank. There we go. Wow, look at this. We can actually crawl inside, although not uh, too well because it's a little cramped. We now have to open the radial menu in order to load the truck onto the trailer. So let's do that. Clean tank is complete. Let's throw her onto a trailer, baby. Oh, there she goes. Where's our baby? Hello, beautiful. I can hear some vehicles working. There she is. Beautiful. Wow, cranes, excavators, truck carrying water or uh, fuel, I guess, in this case, and other things. Wow. That's about as clean as she's going to get in that hole. Awesome. All right, let's go back to the workshop, and let's begin. Let's grab our truck, and let's get out of here. This is awesome. Back to base, boys. Here we go. All right, we're back. It looks like we've got a lot of work to do on this tank, but it's not in bad shape. It's just uh, needing a lot of love, that's all. At least most of the parts seem to be here, and tank repairs aren't going to be too bad. It looks like she's mostly just missing a track, but we have yet to see inside and what type of damage there is. Now, in this game, we can also uh, repair KV-1s and also Tiger tanks, so if you want to see that, make sure you keep on watching because there is a lot to do here. Oh, man, we're going to need to give this thing a ton of love on the inside as well. Look at that. We've got the uh, turret basket here with the loader seat and uh, commander's hatch and all that other stuff over here on this side. So it looks like, oh man, she's going to need a lot of love. Well, if we're going to get started, I'm going to go ahead and remove all the rust. We have a few tools to do that. We have over here, we have our sandblaster to remove everything after the initial rust has been removed. Then we can paint it and possibly get out some dents. And also use an angle grinder to cut off bolts and things that might be uh, stuck on there. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing fully restored. And then we're going to see how she works out on the test drive field. That's going to be really cool. Let's take her for a test drive. All right, she doesn't look too bad so far. I've bought some replacement tracks that are red to indicate that they've been primed and can then be painted or left chrome. We're going to uh, then use the sandblaster here to get everything down to this uh, original primer. And then we're going to be able to paint it in a traditional camo color. We can go all of drab and add stickers and things such as the uh, little U.S. white star or the red star if we want to make it like a lend lease tank uh, or whatever we'd like in fact we can make it like a, a captured german tank if we wanted to so i'm going to get this second section up here of our kv1 lol i got so excited i thought it was a kv1 but there's no mistaking that big o barrel of a wonderful beautiful big o easy eight sherman the a3 e8 sherman the m4 yeah i love it all right let's go ahead and keep on spraying it Keep on keeping on. I, of course, there will be other tanks here like T-34, T-34-85s. Maybe we'll see an SU-85 or perhaps even other Shermans like the M4 and the M4A3. And or maybe a Firefly in the future. Churchill would be cool too. I'll finish up here and we'll go on to the next step. All right, that does it for the outside of the tank. This thing here is a wooden shelf in order to hold things. And again, we got our red primer uh, tread here. So all I have to do is just basically sp uh, spray paint everything with primer inside our paint shop. I can also start working on the inside of the tank, too. So if we hop up here, uh, we might need to bring our rust gun to see what's going on in here. Oof, it is going to be a long day inside there. Let's take a look and see if it needs a sandblasting or if it needs uh, rust removal. Yeah, all right, I'll get my rust gun and get to work on the inside of this tank now. Coming up next, we've got ourselves a KV-1 and a Tiger tank. So very soon, we'll see some of the bigger tanks arrive onto the field. My, would you look at this? We're in the driver's seat now doing some uh, maintenance to this. So the tank actually allows you to sit in all the different seats. Loader, commander, gunner, uh, radio op. Oh, wow, and apparently we can even sand this uh, chair. Wow, look, there's an, look at that, an M16, everybody. I'm just kidding. We all know it's an MG42. I'm just kidding. It's actually an M2 Browning. I'm just kidding. We all know it's an M1919. You tell me what's the correct answer down below. I'm sure so many people are triggered. <laughs> All right, let's finish this up. We're going to start sanding now after all the rust has been removed. And I'll sit in the various different seats and get it all removed. This is awesome. Ooh, look, the control sticks for the levers on the transmission and steering. I wonder if we could peek outside. Uh, maybe not. Radio operator slot. Here we are on this side. Cool. All right, let's get it all done. And we'll put it all back together. Just a little bit more to do. Okay, now I've taken the turret off, and I can actually go inside and add a few parts that we were missing. So let's go ahead and jump inside of the tank. Let's go to the interior here. And, uh, yeah, we can actually look inside via the x-ray mode. But we can also get inside, too, of the, uh, for example, the commander slot and see what we're missing. So here we see we're missing the elevation gear. So now that, we, now that we've uh, separated it from the tank, we can start working on a few of those things. So it looks like that and the commander seat we're missing. So that should be 100% on the turret now, at least for parts that we're missing. I'll uh, paint this as well when we're ready, but not quite yet. We'll paint the seat too. Oh, actually, 
Looks like we just have to pop that back in. There we go. All right, that should be everything then for this. Hopefully that's in place. Good, now let's take a look from the, well, let's say the loader's gun. Uh, gun or loader position should be able to see that. Okay, that's just fine. All right, let's uh, get the rest of this tank done then. We can go ahead and uh, hop out, and we can go ahead and, uh, there we go, let's not look through the tank anymore. Let's reassemble it. So uh, if we just look at this tank, we should be able to bring it back together. Module mode. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and select the turret. Perfect. Now we might be able to select the engine. Let's try that. If we go to uh, module select for the engine, we should be able to take that off. And oh boy, she's going to need some love. We're going to have to attach all the rest of the stuff needed on this one. So where's my angle grinder? Let's see. That sounds like a great sitcom. All right. Let's see. We'll start with the rust removal tool. There we go. And let's get cracking. And then uh, possibly have to sandblast this too. So it shouldn't be too long, but it definitely needs to be done if we're going to make this tank move and get out on that test drive field. All right, boys, the beast is put back together as best I can. We got her up to 72% with repairs. Some things are just kind of like uh, not repairable unless I buy a new part, which is okay, considering this was completely buried in the mud. I'm going to hit her with some primer now, make sure everything's primed up from the uh, base coat here, basically the raw metal. We're going to spray paint everything to primer, then add some actual colors to it, and let's get this thing into the paint shop. Here we go. Hey, check this out. I made a big green plastic army tank. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All right, I'm going to wheel it into the paint shop when I actually do paint, but for primer, I'm going to stay out here because I'm not sure if there's actually a ladder inside there, so I don't want to, like, uh, do part of this and then have to bring it back out. So I'll finish up with the paint. Also, look at that. Our tank repairs are also part of the painting, so our primer and painting will actually bring this up to about 100% repaired. In fact, I hope it does. There might be a few parts that are, like, you know, still dinged up and whatnot, but not bad for a vehicle that's been out here forever. Let's get back inside the tank. Let's go to the, uh, well, actually, let's go to the, um, let's see, inside the tank, right? Uh, oh, and actually, yeah, we can see all the parts here that are going good. We just need to basically, uh, start spray painting a few more things to finish it all up. Uh, I'm gonna get inside now, so let's see, how do we do that? Interior option, get inside the commander seat. There we go, and if I press E, it just shows that everything is just basically not primed for painting, so it, uh, when it turns red like that, it basically just means that, uh, Everything is just painted as it needs to be. Oh, it looks like we got to add coolant, too, it seemed. I, I don't know why I tried to start the tank. That was weird. I'm inside the commander's hatch. There's nothing I can do from up here. All right, let's go to the uh, driver's seat. All right, I'll get everything painted up, and then we're going to go for re real paint. First priming, then painting. It's going to be awesome. Anything else to paint? Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, that's good enough for what I wanted to do. It's at uh, pretty much 97%. I want to move on to some other tanks, but before we do, let's go ahead and get ready to move this one into the paint shop now. So let's go ahead and open both doors here. We'll drop that down there, and let's see. Oh, there is a ladder in here. Cool. All right, let's see what it's like inside the paint shop, and then we'll actually uh, go ahead and try to get this whole thing painted up with a new color. So let's see here. Module mode, tank status menu. Let's see what else we can do. Move, move a tank. There we go. Let's move it to the paint room. There we go. All right, now let's close the doors on this and uh, start painting this thing. Where's our uh, paint gun? There she is. All right, you're coming with me. Now, let's do this properly and give her a nice uh, paint job. Now, apparently we can do the factory paint and camo paint. So let's see what we can choose when we do this. If I press H, we can toggle painting mode. So I'm assuming one is between primer and actual paint. So let's see here. Ah, oh, boy. Uh, let's see. I, I suppose this would be best. Now, how do I shrink here? Uh, I and K to... Uh, oh, that rotates. Okay. And I want to shrink it down a little bit and rotate it. There we go. All right, let's go with something like that. There we go. And I wonder what kind of camo we can do, too. It looks like there's all sorts of color palettes on the left side. Uh, let's see if we can add... Uh, let's see, that's good enough for me, I think, for now. Uh, let me try the different camos. Here we are. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? So there's like... We could go uh, like the uh, Pacific Theater if we wanted, although this probably didn't fight there. Oh, wow, look at all these different... Oh, that's cool. W cool winter camo for it. Let's go with something that might be traditional, though I'm proud... Oh, this this looks German. Uh, yeah, some of those... This is definitely like the tiger... I think the tiger uses this one. Not entirely sure, but let's go with just a... Uh, let's just go with something to spice it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Something past D-Day. Let's go with that. We'll apply, and uh, then we'll start painting. So I think we, we applied, and then decals. We got just these. Okay, that's fine. All right, let's spray paint this thing. And be done with it. Uh, where's my gun? I got, I got to get my gun. There we go. All right, it's going to be a bit, but it's going to look pretty when we're done. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Excellent. It adds rubber. Oh, I can't wait until we test drive this thing. We're going to have to add some fluids and such, but we'll do that after painting. Then let's go for a test drive. 
All right, I'm done. That That's enough right there. That looks beautiful. We're going to go out and test drive this thing right now. We're, we're taking her out. Well, okay, I'll, I'll spray that just a, just, just a smidge. Just a smidge. Just a, just a little. That's that's all we need. Okay, all right. Now, okay, now, we're, now we're going out on a test drive. Let's do it. Let's bring this bad boy out to the test drive section. So how do we do this? Uh, let's see. Right click. Uh, storage tank exterior. I don't want to do any of that stuff. Let's see. Uh, ah, here's how we do it. Over here somewhere. Uh, tank status menu, move tank to, well, wait a minute, we better bring it back to the uh, workshop so that way I can put some fuel in it or cool into whatever it needs, and then we'll head out and test drive it finally. This is going to be sweet. Get ready. All right, the moment of truth. All fluids have been added. Will this beast, after many years of being converted into uh, a just basically a rock in the mud, return to its former glory as a battle tank? Let's go ahead and see if she'll fire up. Come on, baby. Come out. Come out, come out. What are we missing? We're missing something. Come on. What is it? Oh, we're not. It's going. She's up. Woo! She's going. Oh my, that is beautiful. Awesome. Let's go and drive this beast. Let's see. Tank menu. Test drive. Room has not yet been unlocked. What the? What? All right, I'll unlock that. Let's go. Oh, I am so baited test drive even though we don't have enough uh, acquisition points to unlock it it's still not available in the demo damn i really wanted to do that oh well you know what else will be fun let's go out and find another tank the sherman is done and damn does it look beautiful so let's go to the organizer rather the mailbox and find a new tank we found a new one excellent adrian says we found a tank let's go for it uh let's see or is that our other one okay let's try to do some other re restorations we have a uh, let's see a panzer Kampf in need of reserve reservations at a restaurant apparently we've already done a sherman so let's do let's see which tiger would give us more money this one gives us 51 or 15,000 rather and uh 31 points all right let's go with that we'll accept a uh tiger tank now ah yeah look at that mm, so beautiful yeah okay well what the heck are we gonna have to do here what, what does he want us to do my oh boy oh this is rough this is worse than our sherman <laughs> Well, to be fair, it looks like the most missing from it is at least the uh, track and wheel section. And then let's take a look at the interior. That's probably going to look like a nightmare. Oh, boy. Oh, man, is that completely rusted. Oof. All right. Well, let's get to it then. We're going to grab our angle grinder. Let's see what he wanted us to do. Um, it says uh, tank repairs 9%. Uh, he just wants us to remove rust, I guess. And that's about it. I don't think we can. Uh, well, I guess we can restore the whole thing. So let's do it. Well, now that we've got the beautiful tiger all taken apart, it's come to my attention that we are completely out of money. I won't be able to uh, do all the repairs I need to on this thing if we go up here to the status menu and go to tank analysis and buy missing parts. We realize that it's going to be a whopping $25,000. I only have $9,000, which is okay because we do have a backup plan. If I go ahead and move this thing out to uh, storage, I can take another job for a KV-1 and uh, do enough jobs uh, in order to earn the money to fully restore this one. So let's go ahead and move this tank into our... Uh, let's move it into the paint room for storage now. There it is. She'll sit in there uh, while we take this new job of a KV-1. Finally, I get to see one. I got, I got so... Uh, excited about finding one before and I didn't so uh, oh yeah I canceled some contracts too to refresh to get some new ones which is great because now we have ourselves a uh, job for this one so it looks like this one is uh, gonna be low uh, repairs so that's okay we can do it real quick and get eleven thousand dollars which will bring us close to what we need to do additionally I can go to the bank and take out loans but I also want to see a KV-1 just so we can see everything look at that man that is awesome we got our tiger tank here in the uh, paint room and now we've got a wonderful KV-1 sitting right here on the rack ready to go so now I can take out loans in order to buy all the parts for both these tanks so we can get both of them up and running unfortunately we won't be able to get to drive them but the uh, the most exciting thing in the game is to actually go out through the organizer and like uh, go out into the field and pull a tank out of a ditch that is super super exciting so let's go ahead and uh, let's see grab our angle grinder I'm gonna do both tanks now this one's apparently needs low repairs so I guess we'll do that and uh, apparently I have another email as well, so we'll do that. Oh, look at that paint job. Come right out. Beautiful. That is just sexy. Very nice. Let's see inside, actually. Let's take the turret off. I want to I peek in, inside of it. Uh, let's go ahead and cut it into uh, pieces. Let's see. Uh, cut my tank into pieces. This is my last attack. Suffocation, no breathing. Oh, I'm too excited. Come on. Come on. Engine over there. 
and then turret over there. Perfect. Okay, let's see inside. There she is. Mmm. That that is a that is a very dead interior. Wow. <laughs> there's not much to this other than the driver and then the gunner loader and commander there. And there's not even there's not even much room other than for an engine. That is huge. Absolutely a monstrosity. Look at this engine too. Man, the exhaust on that thing. Oh, it wants to give me a hug. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. There we go. All right, perfect. Okay, let's go out and find this tank. Now, last time I found it by basically... This is like a very suspicious area, isn't it? This giant open area like this? Hmm. And I wonder if there's a clue or something that we can find. Oh, I think I see something over here, maybe. I'm starting to think everybody lied to me and there's no tank here at all. I think uh, let's just walk back to the quad and see if we can find our way. Wait. What? Oh, is this it? Hold on, let me mark the map. Oh, cool, I can put flags down. Sweet. Oh, wait, we better move this out of the way. One thing I learned last time is we need to move our equipment. Chuck it to the side. Okay, so now we can dig out the tank. I'd like to use a shovel to find out what it is, but let's just dig it out. That's another way to do it. So let's go to, uh, let's see, call towing service? No, first we got to uh, dig the thing out. So, uh, oh boy, how do, we, how do we do that? Too excited. Must dig out now. Call towing service? Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, that's towed my vehicle. Damn it! Not my vehicle! <laughs> I want I want the other vehicle. I guess I have to use the shovel first. Okay, that's good news. It brought it right over here. Where's my shovel? On the front. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it's right over here. Okay, we gotta expose the vehicle first. Let's see what it is. Come on, KV-1. Come on, KV-1. Ooh. Oh, that is a tiger. Our very own tiger. We discovered a tiger tank. That is awesome. So now, that's our property. We don't have to return it to the owners like the other ones. So now we can just uh, take their jobs and use it for money to uh, basically rebuild our own tiger tank. So that is awesome. So she here she is. That is beautiful. Okay, let's see if we can dig this thing out now. Uh, call towing service. Wait, we want to dig the tank out a little bit more. I think. Nope, Frank, tank on the trailer. But let's clean the tank out. Tank has not been yet fully dug out. Return to the laptop in order for further digging. Okay, well, what about the trailer? Cannot extract... Uh, back to workshop? I guess I guess I gotta dig it out some more. Oh, there's a command line. Uh, beat game. Oh, okay. I guess I can't do that. Alright, let me dig this out. It is with the laptop that we can call our excavation team. So, interestingly enough, you can't do it from the scroll wheel, but you have to use the laptop, which is kind of weird, but whatever. At least we get it done free of charge. Oh, I get so excited to see all this stuff. Excavation has found something. Crane, excavator, truck's all ready to go. Oh, there's our baby. Oh, hello, sexy. Hmm. Okay, let's spray her off and play again. Oh, also, we got to pump the water out, too. Okay, let's drop this over here. There we go. And let's spray it off. Oh, look at that. Tiger tank has been found. Big old turret still intact. Gun looks like it's intact, too. Hopefully, for the most part, we get to bring her home once we get her to 30%. So right now, we're sitting at 8 Oh, man, she's pretty rusty, but considering the fact that it's been buried in the mud, she's looking really good. Look at that. Kind of hard to see, isn't it? I wish there was uh, more of an option for high noon or something like that. So let's see here if we can clean up everything in the front. There we go. Get in those nooks and crannies. Fill off the... There we go. Clean up those mud guards. There we go. They serve their purpose. <laughs> there we go. All right, back into the tank now. God, this is so fun. I think I could uh, find tanks and bring them home and restore them all day long and then sell them to museums and such for cash and then do it again and do it again and again and again. All right, we're almost done here. A few more things to clean. Okay, let's get the front half. There we go. We're 27%. Required state is 30%. Then we can just get the rest out with, like, a shovel and a pressure washer at home. There we go. Ooh, look at that sun. Beautiful. It's like it's blessing the tank. All right, that should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and order our a trailer now. Let's put this down. And let's order a truck and trailer to pull her out. Oh, that's mine. Oh, actually, that's good. It spawns me right over here. That's super easy. Okay, let's... What, what is... C G oh, what's GPR? I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, let's see. The area you cannot extract, right? Okay. Uh, maybe I need the other option. I forgot already what we did the first time. I'm just, I'm just so excited. I, I just love it. I absolutely love it. All right, we need to get a little closer so we can call the, tr uh, put it on a truck. How do we do that exactly? Ah, oh, we got to be like literally on top of the tank. There we go. All right. Now she's ready to roll. Look at that beautiful tiger. 
That is so cool. The whole convoy is ready to roll out. She's missing her whole side track, but look at that. That is beautiful. She needs the muzzle brake, too, and a lot of other things, but it's ours. We don't have to work for anybody else. All right, let's head back to the workshop, then. Here we go. Well, that is it for today's episode, everybody, of Tank Mechanic Simulator. We've done pretty much everything there is to do, except just not with all the tanks. We've got our Tiger Tank waiting, our KV-1 ready for repairs, and another one outside that is ours to own. So if you guys want to see more of this, make sure you click, tap, destroy, blow up that like button. Again, remember, it's World War II, so it'll be suppressed by the algorithm. All it is is a game about building tanks. Wait a minute, a building game? That seems like it's for kids. Oh, no, Kappa! Well, I'm going to jail. You guys take care. Thank you very much, and I hope you're all still subbed when I get out of prison. <laughs> you all take care. Thank you for watching. I, I don't know what to say other than that. I just love this game. I had a lot of fun with this, and I want to keep on playing more. But I got to go on to other things. So I'll see you all next time. I'm going to go watch YouTube. Maybe I can watch somebody who's better than me.